right. We're here in uh, where are we? Anderson, South Carolina. Getting loaded, or well, about to get loaded if I get into a door. But I don't know. Look at this place, man. They put me all the way down here, all by myself. Door 54. See if we can get her in here. working with this automatic gotta gotta feather it in there getting better about not like slamming the docks close just to make sure we're good oh yeah we're good I didn't even have to pull up again yeah we got a one of these places where they gotta you gotta like drop the trailer and everything so slide the tandems drop the trailer Let's go open the doors. Hopefully this uh, tandems will work out for me. Still having a little problem, like when you go to slide, it just doesn't want to doesn't want to break loose. I probably should spray some uh, my PB blaster in there. Yeah, we'll do it now. If I'm thinking about it. Where you at? There you are. Come on, get in there. Probably should spread the other side, but uh, maybe later. We gotta get this thing into the door. Uh, man, look at these guys coming in here. I'm glad I got here when I did. There we go. I heard it. Come on, buddy. Coffee time. Come on. Come on. Here you go.
There you go. You guys, you guys witnessed it. I didn't slam the dock. <laughs> Let's go drop this trailer. Don't drop the trailer too much. It's been a, I feel like I'm at Warner, doing the old drop and hook. Yeah. Got my load lock. <laughs> Free. One of the loads I got, I don't even remember where, I picked up an Indy and I went down to Florida and uh, they put a load lock in there. So I said, thank you, I'll take that. Detached from the mothership. <laughs> let's go. Let's talk about what's going on today. What we got going on? All right. That's my book. Here we go. This here. So yeah, we're in uh, Anderson, South Carolina. We're going to Sanger, Texas for Saturday morning. 5.30 in the morning delivery. Golly, man. But we, um, I, I had a pretty good weekend. Well, it's, it's still a good weekend. I, uh, I got this load and, uh, and I picked up another load that, that, um, uh, went to Copal, Texas for Saturday morning. And it was going to like Fort Lauderdale, Florida for like a Monday afternoon. I'm sorry. Saturday afternoon. Ugh. Pick up Saturday. Unload Monday. So that's doable. You know, he said it had to be there by 8.30 Tuesday if I get there by Monday to still unload me. So that was cool. And it was a good trip, man. You know, getting me home. You know, it wasn't really getting me home, but he was, you know, Fort Lauderdale, was down by Miami. But, uh. You know, we could have still made that happen, you know, and still get by the house. Everyone is happy and still get a couple good rates out of it. But, uh, I woke up this morning and that load, uh, it wasn't canceled, but it got pushed up pickup to tomorrow morning. And they, they called me up and, you know, and they, they wanted to keep, they didn't want to change, you know, you know, change loads, change drivers, all that stuff. So. They, they actually offered me a couple more bucks you know, to, to pick it up and like basically pay for my deadhead to get over there. I said, sorry, man. I was like, I'm already committed to this trip that was getting me over there. So, you know, so then I was kind of scrambling to, not really scrambling so much, but like, you know, a Saturday morning pickup is not, it's not hard, but you know, I'm finding out if you don't get it going, you're not going to, it's going to be odd to find something on a Saturday and pick it up on Saturday. So I was scrambling this morning, looking around to get, get me something. And we end up getting a couple of them that picks up in uh so I'm dropping off in Sanger, go pick up in Sunnyvale, take it to Rogers, Arkansas for a Sunday morning. And uh, then Sunday between, I got like an open pickup Sunday seven to two and deliver, in, I'm sorry, Joplin Sunday between seven and two going to Cold Springs, Minnesota for a Monday afternoon. So that got me through the weekend. And hopefully Monday, maybe I can try to find a shorty to get to me to Tuesday for payroll. So, you know, still end up not getting the same as what I got on that other load, but you know, we can still try to get pretty close to it. But, um, oh, I got, I got a neighbor now. Dang dude, a little close man, a little close. 
all this room you gotta you gotta hug hug my bumper <laughs> well we got the red light yeah they said uh, this place here you um, once you get the green light you hook back up to your trailer take this sticker to the guard shack they give you your bills and you you're cruising so So we're gonna sit here and get loaded. Oh, I think they're getting me loaded now. All right, good stuff. Got here a little bit early. One, 1 p.m. appointment. It's about 12.30 now, so we're good. There are bees all over the side of the truck. What the heck, don't be flying up in here. But once we get loaded and get down the road, we will let you guys know what's going on. All right, back here at the Petro. Carnesville, Georgia, Just filled up the tanks. How much did I get? 108 gallons. Dang. Well, finally got loaded. Sat there for about two and a half hours. About two and a half hours. 13,500 pounds. Paper towels going to the Sam's Club in Sanger, Texas. So we don't have to be there till Saturday morning. 914 miles. It won't be a problem. Just gotta get, get back on 85. Around Atlanta. I know, I know. Get through Atlanta. <laughs> it's like 435. Oh yeah. We're gonna be hitting it perfect. Hanging in traffic. Jump on I-20. 20 the whole way in. Georgia. That's where I stayed last night. Flying J over there. Stayed at the Petro. Pretty quiet. It's a Pale Rider approved hangout. <laughs> Look at these guys. Looks like some bridge work there, right? We ain't gonna go too far, so we just gotta, like I said, around 285 get onto 20. So we gotta go like around the top part. Hopefully, it won't be that bad. But actually, Daniel's coming this way, so we may uh, we may run into him. Let's see if we can uh, if we can find him. I think he's getting loaded over here, and he's going back to Arkansas. I believe that's what he said. So. 
we'll uh, see if we can catch up with them later. But yeah, we're ro rolling. It's all funny games until you get to Atlanta. Let's get on to Atlanta and see what happens. <laughs> Morning. Yeah, man, we, we, we got to this rest area late. I, I didn't have a chance to end the video. I didn't really get to, I just couldn't end it the way it was, so so we're going to end it here. <laughs> we are, uh, where are we? Leia, where'd you go? Leia, where'd you go? There she is. <laughs> we're at the uh, got to down to the Mississippi Welcome Center about oh golly man say about 12.30 got about another half hour before we can drive let's do a little pre-trip on the truck everything's looking cool just letting her warm up Take lay out here real quick. Yeah, we met up with Daniel last night. Check this guy out. Yeah, so uh, that was good meeting up on the road. Wish I had more time, but he's going one way, I'm going the other way. He actually got to sleep in his shipper. Our receiver last night lucky we got 550 miles to our receiver for tomorrow morning so we're looking good so we're gonna try to get I don't I don't know where we're gonna get to golly man she's like yanking me all over the place but uh yeah let's end this here so we can get this video finished and get it out so let's start the next day so uh yeah talk to you guys just a little while Thanks for watching.